Hi, my name's Dave and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a power supply unit, also known as a PSU. So, first thing, take out any cables from the back of your computer case. Next, touch an unpainted part of the case for about 10 seconds, just to ground yourself. Now, next up we need to get inside the computer case so we can get to the power supply. We need to take one of the side panels off. The side we need to take off will be opposite these group of ports here. So on this case in particular, we need to take this side panel off. Now on this case it's quite simple, it just has a handle on the side. But computer cases tend to vary from case to case. Some of them you'll take the top panel off first and then remove the side panel. Some of them have a button and the whole case splits open. Those are called butterfly cases. Right, I'll just move the side panel out of the way. Now we can see inside the case, this is the power supply unit here. Quite often it's either at the top or at the bottom. Now, I have another power supply unit here that was removed from another computer. Now, a lot of these have the power on off switch here. Most of them have a fan inside to help keep the unit itself cool. And some of them have a voltage selector as well, which we'll come to that later. And all these wires here they will have different types of connectors on the end of them used for various components inside the computer case. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is to remove all of these connectors that are supplying different components with power. So let's remove all of those. This one's connected to a fan. So we'll remove this one as well. Also there's connectors on the motherboard which are quite often clipped in. So you have to make sure you hold the clip open whilst you're removing it out of the motherboard. Some of the motherboards have two power connectors like this four pin power connector here. Now, once you've removed all of the power connectors, we can now remove the power supply unit itself. Now we have to remove any screws or fixings that's holding it in place. Quite often these power supply units will be held in by four screws at the back. So we just go ahead and take those out. Now, if you find it easier, you can actually work on the case with it on its side. One thing you don't want to do is drop your power supply unit onto the other components. So you may have to hold it, you may have to hold the power supply unit at the same time whilst you're unscrewing it. That's the third one. a little bit more awkward because I'm trying to show you at the same time but there it is and that's the power supply unit removed. One other thing I forgot to mention was when you're pulling these connectors out of each computer component make sure you pull it by the connector itself not by the wires otherwise the wires will pull out of the connector. One other thing is that you could put masking tape on each connector so you know where which one came from and which way up the connector was. You could also mask masking tape on the side of the PSU itself just to say which way up it is but that's normally fairly obvious. All right.
Next, you need a replacement PSU. Once you have your replacement PSU, if it has a voltage selector on it, make sure it's set to your region. For example, if you live in Europe, make sure it's set to 220 to 240 volts. Next, we can put it into the computer case. Make sure it's the right, right way up. Now, as you put it in, you should see PSU line up with the screw holes on the case. Okay. Now we can screw it into place. Normally, if you have put the PSU up the wrong way, the screw holes won't line up with the case screw holes. OK, next, we can put in the connectors that need to be plugged into place as the original one once was. This is where it's handy if you had masking tape on the connectors on your old PSU. Once you've plugged all the connectors in the right places, you could use a cable tie to tie up some of the cables to make them neat and tidy inside your case. Or if you don't use one of these, at least make sure no wires are blocking any of the fans. Now we can replace the side panel. If your new PSU came with a power switch, switch it to the ON position. And that's it, it's done. Thanks for watching this video, I hope this helped you out. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's it for today, bye for now.